Hello everyone. One day a little boy came home after playing in muddy puddles in the yard and asked his mother, Who am I, mom? His mother, pretending not to recognize him, replied, I don't know, who are you? The boy excitedly cried out, Our neighbor was right, mom. She told me, You are so dirty that your own mother wouldn't recognize you. Friends, the Bible tells us that God is our Abba Father and His love is tender, warm and intimate. He recognizes all of us, His children, regardless of our conditions and with great joy welcomes us back into His home. Yes, God our Father sees us very differently from the way we see ourselves and the way others see us. Humans look at our outward appearances but God sees our hearts, as the prophet Samuel says. This is the message from today's Gospel as well. Friends, Luke narrates three parables about losing, finding and rejoicing. According to the text, one day the outcasts of the society, the tax collectors and sinners, approached Jesus, eager to hear him speak. But the Pharisees and scribes were upset that Jesus was associating with such sinful people and even eating with them. So Jesus told them three stories. The first story was about a lost sheep. Jesus described a shepherd who would leave all his sheep in a secure fold in the wilderness and go after a lost sheep. When the shepherd finds the sheep, he puts it on his shoulders carries it home and calls his friends and neighbors to come and celebrate with him. In the same way, Jesus said that there will be joy in heaven over one sinner who repents, like the sinners who had come to hear Jesus, than over the ninety-nine righteous people, like the Pharisees and scribes who had condemned and judged sinners. The second story was about a lost coin. Again, Jesus talked about how a woman who had only ten coins desperately searches for the lost coin. When she finds it, she is overjoyed and calls her friends and neighbors to come and celebrate with her. In the same way, Jesus said that angels will rejoice at the repentance of one sinner. The third story is about your lost son. The loving father is at the center of this story. Even though his younger son went off with his inheritance and squandered the money, the father did not forget his son. He waited for his son to return home. Upon his return, the father, full of love and compassion, ran out, embraced him and forgave him even before the son could utter one word of repentance. And then the father invited all his friends to come and celebrate his son's return. But Jesus did not end there. He continued the story with the reaction of the elder son. When the elder son learned that his brother had returned and that his father was throwing a party for him, he became resentful, judgmental, envious, hostile, bitter, angry and self-righteous and refused to enter his father's house to join in the celebration. But his father came outside to plead with him to go in. The elder son complained to his father that he had always been faithful and obedient throughout the years, but his father had never given him any party for him and his friends. Even though when the father had pointed out to his eldest son that all that he had belonged to him, there was no response from the son. The end of the story is missing. There is an obvious illustration of the behavior of the Pharisees and scribes who did not believe in Jesus and his gospel till the end. Friends, we can learn many lessons from this gospel. 1. A sheep is valuable. Money is more valuable. But for God, we are the most valuable of all because we are his children made in his image. 
God sees our souls as the most valuable in the world and He does not want our souls to perish. 2. God our Father loves us so much that He gives us freedom to make our own decisions. Sometimes we insist on doing things our own way and run away from God's presence. 3. God our Father is all mercy and love. He always patiently and lovingly waits for us. It does not matter what we have done or how much wrong we have done. He does not wait to condemn us or punish us when we return, but rather He waits for an opportunity to run to us and greet us with a kiss to welcome us back. 4. God our Father welcomes us back when we truly repent and return to Him. He welcomes us as His children into His house and supplies us with all our needs. He fills our life with good things. He satisfies our every longing. He heals our hurts and replaces our sorrows with joy. 5. God our Father extends His care and compassion to both the righteous and sinners alike. He wants everyone to come to the party. He wants us to set aside our self-righteousness and with humility accept His unconditional love and rejoice over others who return to receive His graces and blessings. 6. God our Father gives us another great opportunity today to go back to Him. We do not have to wait until we live a perfect life to return to Him. Let us, like the prodigal son, Arise and go back to our Father. Amen. God bless you.